What we're looking at here is an example of what's called a standalone photovoltaic system. Here we have a series of PV panels composed of photovoltaic cells, individual cells. These are called monocrystalline cells. They are all connected with these traces, just like most typical PV panels. We've combined these panels into an array that is about one kilowatt worth of power, uh, which would be for a small cabin, maybe. Typical home is going to be using two to three kilowatts. So this would be uh, mounted on a rack at a tilt angle pointed south, and then these panels would provide one kilowatt worth of energy under full sun. This system requires batteries for energy storage. We have a bunch of lead acid batteries that are designed as deep cycle, and that's important, they have to be deep cycle batteries that this charges during the day, and then we can use the stored energy in the batteries to run our devices at night or on cloudy days. If for some reason we have several days with clouds or rainy days and there's no energy from the panels and the batteries drain down, we also have potential to include another backup system, for example, a diesel generator. On a grid tied system, there's no batteries, less complexity, no maintenance of the batteries. Batteries require a good bit of maintenance. And, uh, and it's a much simpler system. But obviously there are a lot of applications, remote applications where this is important. While we're here, we also want to discuss shading. Shading can be very important for PV systems. In this case, we have a bunch of individual cells and several panels. A panel would be this section right here. Okay, so I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 panels all connected together. Each one of them has about 36 cells in it. If I were to shade just one or two of these cells, maybe with a vent pipe from my house, I would have significant loss of energy from this PV panel. So even a small percentage of the area shaded can result in a large amount of energy loss. You want to be very, very careful about shading in any kind of photovoltaic system. So this is a standalone system with battery backup and a diesel generator as a final backup. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.